Imagine you're aboard a Liberty ship crossing the icy North Atlantic during World War II. Suddenly, without warning, a deafening crack echoes through the ship. The massive steel hull begins splitting in two, forcing everyone into lifeboats in freezing waters. This wasn't just imagination. During World War II, more than a dozen Liberty ships literally broke in half. The SS Schenectady even snapped while peacefully docked. The source of these disasters turned out to be surprisingly simple. Square-shaped hatches on the ship's decks. Nearly 1,500 cases of catastrophic hull and deck cracks were documented, and remarkably, over half were traced back to corners of these square hatches. But why would something as ordinary as a sharp corner cause such devastating consequences? The answer lies in the engineering principle known as stress concentration. Think of force flowing through a material like water moving down a river. When the water encounters a sharp 90-degree turn, it creates turbulence. Similarly, when force encounters sharp corners, it dramatically intensifies stress at that point, creating ideal conditions for cracks to begin and spread. However, for Liberty ships, sharp corners weren't the only issue. They were constructed from poor-quality steel that became dangerously brittle in the icy waters of the North Atlantic, a phenomenon known as embrittlement. This meant the steel couldn't adequately resist the rapid crack propagation once it began. Engineers call this property fracture toughness, essentially how well a material resists cracking under stress. But ships weren't the only victims. A decade later, aviation faced a similar challenge. The de Havilland Comet, the world's first commercial jet airliner, suffered catastrophic failures in mid-flight. Investigations revealed the root cause, tiny cracks forming at the sharp corners of its square windows. Every flight cycle of pressurization and depressurization allowed these cracks to grow until multiple aircraft literally disintegrated. When you cut a hole in any structure, you inherently make it weaker. The shape of that hole determines how force distributes around it. With square or rectangular openings, Force piles up at the corners, creating perfect starting points for cracks. Round shapes tend to make it more difficult to have a point where stress can be concentrated. These tragic events taught engineers a crucial lesson that materials don't just fail when their strength is exceeded, they fail when cracks propagate. And nothing propagates cracks like a sharp corner, and this profound lesson was learned through tragic failures of ships at sea and planes in the sky. This realization gave birth to a new field of engineering called fracture mechanics, fundamentally changing how we design safer structures. Because of this fundamental reason, ships and aircraft feature circular or rounded windows. But that's not the only advantage. They're also easier to seal against water, providing better protection against corrosion, especially in harsh ocean environments. Plus, manufacturing rounded openings is generally simpler and more efficient. So next time you look out of a ship's porthole or airplane window, remember, it's not just a window. It's a life-saving lesson learned from the tragedies of the past. If you liked this video, hit that subscribe button for more explanations of the world around us. Thanks for watching.